Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and this is Sonali from It Starts at Home and today I'm sharing with you my language book and to my surprise I couldn't believe that I haven't shared a language book for almost over a year and I don't know why I was just thinking that I am like sharing language book but it it uh i hate to say that i was absolutely i think in some kind of a dream or something i think i was only sharing the maths and the brain teasers and i was i wasn't sharing anything in language uh because i keep doing a lot of language activities with vivan and uh, i'm sorry guys but here it is i've made a new book and uh, it's it's going to be pretty handy for a kindergartner and a first grader maybe kindergartner who's like moving up to first grade and the first graders who are like just getting in are already there inside uh and you can remember guys the books that i make are not always very very easy for the grade that the kids are in uh they i try and push a little boundaries so that you always can pick up the activity that they were not able to do and then process them into an actual work unit and then you work on that um also you can uh, always modify the activities according to your kids age and caliber um and um uh, Yeah that's it. I mean you don't have to like follow me exactly the way I'm making. You can always adapt, change, improvise and don't then uh feel free to give me suggestions because I would love to incorporate it in my next book or the activities that I do with Vivan. Uh I have also kept my two favorite books here the uh, the Grolier First Children Dictionary, the first part and part 2. Uh I have used a lot of words from the dictionary so that Vivan can go back and he would remember that uh, all these words are like just coming in handy. Okay, so going forward uh i'm just going to open the book and i'm going to show it to you guys at what all activities do we have in here uh this is topics you can totally ignore i forgot to write the topics i'm going to do it later sorry okay uh as we did noun which is the um we have done noun so the first activity starts with words that name places okay and there are like four questions along with some pictures uh i think pictures just make it more pictorial and easy and uh it's it's more like a representation and the kids do relate to it and that's why i have like so many picture books and i really believe in like the stickers and pictures for kids to see i think this is a better view of the book yeah though i can see the shadow of my phone if you can ignore guys sorry okay so it says where do you live places where you can order food this is the place you play many people live and work So uh I have kept some pictures here just in handy and places where you order food if somebody is like super witty rather than saying a restaurant or a hotel or a or like any place they they might just say uber eats so like anything whatever comes up to their mind they can write that Okay going forward I have another one is word that nine um sorry that rhymes animals and then I have chow mood box sad fog and morse and then I have another set of pictures just for a uh, reference and then he needs to see which word rhymes with chow and then he needs to write it here so it's like a more of writing book for him because we need to write like we are a first grade i am i mean he's he's going to be in first grade uh, from september so i am actually promoting a lot of writing rather than just doing uh, activities uh, we are like sitting down almost every day trying to sit down every day and do a lot of writing The third one I think I really enjoyed making this one. This is travel plan and I've made California and the state capital of California is Sacramento. Uh so there's a small paragraph with like uh, very basic information and once he reads that he needs to answer these three questions. Very simple three questions. But I think it's going to be nice and I I plan to do a whole book with this. Um because we're doing the state capitals of US as a separate um project. uh i think it was a great way of um, adding this element here it was a nice way of adding the comprehension there uh rhyming timing just wanted to make it a little more fun we love rhyme uh, rhyming words love it i think that's like uh that's like one family thing that we do we end up talking to people also in a rhyming way sometimes so uh, there are four blocks and vivan needs to just write the first letter or like two letters or three letters just to get all of them and trust me they're like all the words are possible i have done it myself before i've put it here okay then the next one says superpowers sentences with can or can't i can't or i can uh he needs to use these two uh words and he needs to frame sentences uh all the animals are right here and they have some names and he is free to tell whatever superpower they have or what they can do what they can't do okay so i have written like peaky can and rest he can say peaky can fly or peaky can run faster 
and um, sharky can't eat vegetables so sharky can't play in the park okay it's like i can dance in the water i can't dance sharky is saying that rari is saying like that so i mean something that you you have to like um just create but you have to uh, think of can and can't as the main word and then build the sentence um yeah next one fix the silly sentences i think we like silly words silly sentences silly books we are we're silly actually <laughs> okay it is light at night we get bull from dogs the boat sails on the track a wet can fix the car so all these silly sentences that i've written and i have given them the options right here uh which is dark wet pig water sheep dog happy and then he needs to see which one is it and he needs to cut it there okay he needs to, like it is dark at night so he needs to like put a uh, dark right there or he can just put the number uh right here uh going to the next one it says complete the spelling and um this is all color inspired so you have um three letters missing and three done so, so respectively there are some letters that i've already added some are uh, missing this is also called a hangman uh, exercise uh where you have to complete the spelling is just called the hangman exercise and then he needs to finish the uh, sorry he needs to just complete the word purple blue and respectively all the other ones okay so now we have spell b is the same thing oh my god my book is kind of crazy today there's so much of light coming i think i've just picked up a wrong spot to uh do this video today i'm sorry guys my hand is just going left right okay so again here he has uh, another spe- uh, set of spellings that he needs to complete uh if you would see you will find more of spellings and rhyming and uh, doing these words because we are really focusing on all these things so these are the topics that we are working on uh and that's why i've added all these things here so we have hammer sword letter carrot ice cream a pirate hat so he needs to just complete the words there okay now it says look up the dictionary and check the meaning uh and form a sentence so loose mammal nasty ordinary practice he needs to pick up the dictionary so the dictionary is right here he needs to pick it up he needs to find the word right here okay let me just find a word okay i am on p so let's see if i can find practice 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 um i'm amazing i can find it hmm oh it's right here so he needs to find but he knows how to find it he needs to see this and then he needs to see the colored one and as soon as so this is n this is still n that's o that's o and that's p okay then p r practice so this is p a p a and it's a very nice way for them to figure out how to use uh, but he knows it and that's why i have just kept it like this okay uh so this was with the with the dictionary guys and now i need to go quick okay so another set of activity is uh, again building up words it's a butterfly trap you have words um wrap words in the wing so you have to f- complete the words so the prompt is just ri he needs to figure out four words that can be made with r and i m o s h r a n h a okay so this is unscrambling unscrambling sorry it's a it's a kind of tongue twister for me okay so these are all the different kinds of uh, stuff like fruit color so the, it says it's a fruit okay so that's grapes that color is green i think that's black that's sweet that's sour and that is bunches i think yeah so it's a group so all these things are um, all all the words are un- unscrambled right now he needs to uh unjumble them and put them right here okay guys have you ever heard of a kangaroo word kangaroo word is something that you have a bigger word and you find a smaller one word from it okay so we are starting with action catch person bold earth history uh his okay then ear then old then either on or act from here then it's like cat and it's like sun from here okay he needs to make a one small word from the words and he needs to write it here i think it's going to be interesting uh then spell b again um 
I have written these uh, eight spellings wrong. He needs to figure out what has mom written and he needs to correct the spellings. So this says plate, but that's the right spelling of plate. So I have given this as an example. Uh, what are they doing? Okay, what are they doing? Just form of different parts of speech we are going to practice. And he is drinking, he is fishing, he is cooking, and he is going somewhere. Okay, what are these? Okay, name of the objects. This is a rocket or a spaceship or whatever. These are uh, garbage trucks or whatever. I mean, whatever he thinks these are. This is my home. This is a caravan. More of spellings, guys. Uh, opposite, just keeping focus of he and she. Okay, and uh, you have king and queen, father and mother, brother and sister, girl and boy, uncle and aunt. Uh, you guys can totally ignore the stickers that I've used because I think I'm running out of all the stickers that I have. I have to go and get a lot of sticker books that I I have to, if I have to keep making videos. <laughs> okay. Uh, then you have write three letter words. Any three letter words that he think he can, he needs to write ten of them. Then he needs to write seven letters starts with A. Primarily just for him to crack his brain, think of a word and write. I do not care whether the spelling is right, wrong. I just want to put him in effort and write the words with A. Fill in the correct word. So now we have to uh, uh, fill in the right word. Please come here. Say, said, now or go. Please come here now. That's the right way to finish the sentence. My dash is red color. My cat is red color. My dress is red color. My clouds are red color. My trees are red color. It can be a cat or a dress. Where is this? But which from who? Where is this from? So he needs to pick up the options are right here and the sentence is here. So whatever the right option is, he needs to pick it up from here and he needs to scribble it back here. Uh, life of a snail. <laughs> Use the words, form a line, write about snail and give him a name. So there are different snails who are like going left, looking forward, going forward, looking down, going up, chit-chatting. So he needs to f uh, form lines here and he needs to give his snails some name and build them like a story or a couple of sentences on this page. Now, what is today, tomorrow, what was yesterday? So what comes before Wednesday? and after today's day before like day before and day after the month month before and after time one hour plus and minus okay so he can say one hour minus here and one hour plus right here now common sense okay five fruits five animals five vegetables and five flowers guys it's something that he knows but we're just working on the spellings and i want to understand that when he's thinking of a like if he thinks of strawberry okay strawberry will it find will he find a difficult word because what vivan is doing he knows the word but he's going to come back and he's going to ask me like what's the spelling of this and i trust me i do not help in that way because i say can you break the word for me i'm going to do a different uh, activity or uh, sorry a video showing you guys that how we're working on our spellings okay going forward uh, journal entry, your favorite part of summer holidays, that's it. Like, that's something that he needs to draw, write, do whatever. That's it, guys. The, the language book was quite intensive. I am not planning to finish it right away. It's going to take a while to finish this book. Um, I know it's going to be, it's a long video, guys, but make sure that you go through it. And if you have any kind of questions, suggestions, please leave a comment. And uh, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe. Uh, also, if you have friends and family who are looking for amazing activities to do with their kids, do recommend my page or share my link with them. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.